for me, partnerships and collaborations um, are key. And that's one of the things that I realized when I first went to Liberia. There's so much work to do and you find yourself wanting to do everything. Um, when I first went, I wanted to focus on education, but I saw that there was a clear need in um, clean water and the health sector and women empowerment. And so I wanted to do it all, but I also realized that there were so many individuals and organizations on the ground who were already doing really great work in that space. And so duplicating efforts just did not make sense to me. Um, so rather than going in and, and building my own factory to start a women empowerment program didn't make sense at all. Um, so I thought it would be more cost effective and resourceful to identify these individuals and organizations that are already doing the work already um, experts in their field and partner up with them and see if we can provide additional resources for them to scale up their efforts. Um, for example, the Liberian Women's Sewing Project. I'm not a social entrepreneur. I know nothing about running a business, but I knew this was something I wanted to get involved with. I knew this was something that Face Africa should be a part of. Um, and so I called Chid immediately and said, hey, I have this great idea um, to partner up with a young designer from the States and see if she can you know, manufacture some of her um, collection at the factory because that would help to raise awareness for the work that you're doing and also um, indirectly provide jobs for these women and that's exactly what happened. I mean, we were, um, we meaning Face Africa and uh, the, the factory was in the Harper's Bazaar last month. Um, and so just the, the amount of attention that came from, from me bringing Whitney Port to Liberia has been, you know, tremendous as far as providing the kind of awareness that we need. So I think partnerships and, and collaborations are certainly key.